I'm still reeling from like that improv exercise. Like, let's blow the whistle, Brian. Oh, we're gonna do the like, we don't know where we are game. Like, I'm like, oh, okay. Like, he said a funny name. Like, pass it to me. Like, oh, you know the thing about bananas, Georgia. Pass it to Brian. And Brian eats the basketball. <laughs> Oh, welcome to the show, where for the 150th time right in a row, we eat a basketball right in front of your face. Hello, beautiful folks, it's Night Attack, bringing you the best of the worst of the internet ever since 1776. I'm live in Austin, Texas. My name is Brian Brushwood. Joining me in OAK, it's my BFF, J-R-Y. What's going on, Justin Robert Young? That's not an energy drink you're drinking, I just realized. Energy drinks may be that color, but they don't say Sierra Nevada on them. <laughs> nope. But we're going to find out what we find at the bottom of this can, and I think it's going to be high adventure, Brian. Welcome to Night Attack. You mentioned it at the top. 150 times we have ventured into this podcast, and 150 times we've survived. But I believe this, all right, 149 times we've survived, I believe this is the time we die. Oh. No one will survive this show. Well, I mean, the only way it would make sense for you to say that is if for the first time ever in the 150 episodes of Night Attack, plus the hundreds of episodes of NSFW that came before it, plus the dozens of episodes of BB Live Show, plus the innumerable live streams, the only way somebody could die is if this was the first time we attempted a medical procedure live on the show by an unqualified professional who might be drinking. Uh, yeah, and that's exactly what we're gonna do. Mm. Uh, I, I don't even think this is allowed. We are going to do it. Uh, we, we are we are renegades. We are we are rebels. This is gonna happen whether anybody likes it or not. Uh, 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 I, I believe that Brian tonight, you, we told everybody last week that you cut your hand in brutal fashion. You had to get stitches. Hold on. First of all, you say cut my hand in brutal fashion. I say heroically saved both my children and my dad's new Mustang. Okay. I can also, I'm going to raise my hand and say, you could also describe it as you being an asshole and grabbing a drone out of the sky. Okay. You could, uh, you know what? I'm going to raise my hand and say, fuck you. You're an asshole. <laughs> That's, I mean, as long as we're just saying things that are accurate. <laughs> uh, all right, so here's the deal. Uh, uh, a lot is happening on this show. Of course, Brian and I are here. Uh, uh, Nesh Kamar, illustrious producer, and of course, the invisible wife, Bonnie Brushwood, also here with us. Uh, we are, listen, these are rumors. I don't know whether or not this is going to happen or not, uh, but last week on this show, we let one person know that they were banned from ever coming on this show. Oh yeah, no, we made it clear, man. Everyone's saying, why don't you have OMG Chad on the show? And the answer is because he's banned until yeah. he shows up to collect these $2 bills. I'm gonna use my right hand while I still can. I've got a fistful of $2 bills. Look at this. You ever say, do you even know who's on a $2 bill? Uh, Michael Jackson. Nope, uh, it's Michael Jordan. Totally different. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, it's Thomas. It's TJ. Thomas Jefferson. I had six. Sorry, he waited so long. I'm down to five. I have five Thomas Jeffersons. Tick -tock, I had to, Chad, I, had, I had to give I had to give someone a tip. He is no wait. Oh, wait six. I do have six. six. I got so six. You, you chipped somebody on a tip this week. Fine, whatever. I told him I gave him a one and said it was a five. Uh, the uh, yeah, I have six two dollar bills. That's twelve dollars. OMG Chad is banned from this program without yeah. exception until he shows up to collect these six $2 bills. Uh, so we have that. And, uh, Brian, you mentioned it before. Mm. You have these stitches in your hand. They're going to come out live on the show tonight. I mean, do you recommend I do that? Uh, no. In fact, hold on. Wait a minute. We're getting medical. Uh, we're getting, we're getting a, 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 a call here. I think... I think I think Tom Twitch has something. Wait, it's not Ted Twitch, is it? It's okay, Ted no, Twitch. All right, listen, listen. Uh, <laughs> Ted Twitch is a lot of things. He is not a licensed medical tra uh, practitioner. Ted Twitch, Ted Twitch, are you oh. on the line? It's I, Ted Twitch. <laughs> Ted Twitch, look, I mean, surely you've dinged us before for copyright violations, for being too extreme, too graphic. This is a medical procedure. Surely this isn't a violation of the terms of service. Hold on, let me consult the rules. 
That's a, that's... I have them written <laughs> on this feather. <laughs> okay. Wait, I'm, I'm sorry, T Ted Twitch. You 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 keep the terms of service on a feather that you keep in your in your hat. It's a fine chapeau, indeed. <laughs> uh, uh, let me look. Uh, medical procedures. Yes. Under M. Yes. Yes. Totally legit. <laughs> anyway, Ted Twitch out. All right, take care, Ted Twitch. Enjoy your Zeppelin. Mm. Bye, Ted Twitch. Wow, that was great. Thank you for calling in. <laughs> by, the, by the way, my favorite thing is somebody said that, uh, well, technically, that's a violation of terms of service that they are impersonating members of Twitch. <laughs> 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 really? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, that is that is that is against the TOS. Uh, good thing we have the actual Ted Twitch on. Yeah, we no, no, no. We would never impersonate <laughs> Ted Twitch. There's uh, only one Ted Twitch, and we got him, right? You guys are going to get Twitch. banned again. No! <laughs> Name one now. Network that starts with TWIT that we've been banned from. Just yeah. one. <laughs> or can't. name the parent company to this very network that we were banned from. <laughs> name two networks that we've been banned from. One that's the actual network we're on. The other one that starts with the same four letters well, as this network. And after a Periscope, maybe there could be three. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> trifecta, trifecta, <laughs> trifecta. Uh, Has anybody so, read the Periscope Terms of Service? That's what I want to know. <laughs> I didn't know uh, Periscope uh, was we've still got, uh Man, we, we, got, we got so much coming up. Uh, 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 Brian, we've been doing a lot more streaming here. Uh, did, did, have we told everybody the, the magical instance that happened no, earlier we, this we, week? We haven't, we haven't told anyone. Like, one of the best things. And keep in mind, this, this all comes from a place of love. It's going to sound... There's going to be brief moments of this story where where it's going to sound as though we think our jobs are work. Um, our job is a privilege, and it's nothing but rad that we get to make a living doing what we love most, which is making you laugh and being uh, assholes on the Internet. Uh, but th there was something that became different the moment we joined Twit with NSFW. And certainly the moment that we started making like real money with Night Attack uh, when we went independent. And all of a sudden we became very, very concerned with how good the product was. And what's been fun about goofing around in this Twitch space is just hopping online and having no expectations. We don't announce when we're going on. We're just we're just we're just like, hey, we're just going to play games. And uh, we set up go to my PC so that I could play sometimes and Justin could play sometimes. And it's been, we started playing through Frog Fractions too. And it, what's your experience been, been both as, as for the first half of it, somebody watching the gameplay and for the second half as somebody under the gun with the, with the camera on? Well, I, I mean, it was, it was super, super fun. And, and uh, we, we were doing, it was just like, to be honest, there has been a very, very long time since Brian and I were just able to literally just scream and screw, like stream and screw around, right? Stream like, and scream. Just, just do whatever the hell we wanted, and so we were being real uh, geese, and we just put up on the uh, on the stream the the Skype uh, that people could call in, and we were just being assholes and asking people for the hot goss, the hot gossip for whatever, just being idiots, right? Next thing you know, calling in is the writer of the game we're playing. <laughs> Yeah, dude, we're in the middle of playing Frog Fractions 2, which, by the way, uh, if you don't know the whole story of Frog Fractions, just um, if, if you have it in you, just go and play. Just type in Frog Fractions, play through the first one. There's more to it than it looks like. Dive all the way down the rabbit hole, finish it, and then you can find out where the second Frog Fractions is. Um, but, uh, but basically, it's a game within a game within a game that leads you down this amazing rabbit hole. And... It was so awesome to have this guy just call up and say, like, hey, I'm Justin. Yeah, no, I, I wrote this section that you're playing right now. And we're like, what? It was uh, it was a blast. It was just insane. And so so we'll be doing more of that. If you're just catching us for the first time, please go ahead and uh, 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 follow us right now here on, on our Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash uh, Night Attack. We're going to be doing a lot more of that uh, coming up. But... I mean, I don't know. I, I feel like we're just burying the lead here. I, I feel like it, it's about time we cleared the air uh, uh, and and welcomed somebody on the show that has been previously banned uh, uh, I mean, from the show. First of all, he's currently banned. Currently he's banned. Not allowed on the show until he shows up and collects his six 
eight. How many? How many of these do I have? Twelve. You have six you two-dollar have bills. Twelve dollars. Six two-dollar $2 bills. bills. I swear how to God. You, how, how how would you describe your relationship with uh, OMG Chad? I, um, I don't know. How did Jesus feel about Judas? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! I mean, he was the like answer really is, nice to him. The for a answer while. is good for him. He loved him. He loved him like a brother. Oh my gosh, you're right. And that's how I feel about OMG Chad. <laughs> oh my God! Oh, Chad. well, I get a little religion here. <laughs> you want you want to go and tell? Uh, well, Brian, this is well known, but we can tell it for everybody. Hey, uh, just do the biblical sermon of of Brian and Chad. <laughs> um. I, I I don't think you want to hear it. <laughs> uh, I, I, I'll start it off okay. just so everybody we can just uh, you know, get, get get grease the wheels a little bit. All right, go for and it. And lo, uh, uh, upon a college booking, Brian did sayeth unto Chad. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, Chad, uh, you're on the team now. Just promise me you'll not leave me in the middle of. N- with no notice and just give me two weeks notice. Promise me you'll see the whole semester out. If you ever do decide to leave. Uh, all right. And, and lo, Chad said it to Brian. All right, Bryce, you beat Chad uh, in more ways than one. <laughs> okay. Uh, hey guys. Uh, what's I'm out. Oh, uh, well. a, a, a stricken, uh, a Brian, uh, a ran his hand uh, through his hair, uh, uh, stared at the ground and said it to Chad. You're dead to me. I'm cutting off your hands. <laughs> uh, but first, let me call Justin to ask if this is the right thing to do. <laughs> uh, and hello, Justin said, I, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, and lo, Chad went on to be awesome at Twit and and went on to huge, huge success and remained a friend of the show uh, in one of our most treasured assets. And I think we've killed enough time that, Chad, uh, can you hear us? Can we hear you? I want that $12. Oh! Uh, now, like right now. Oh, there dun, we go. Dun, dun, Ladies dun. and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, uh, it is uh, uh, the, the prodigal son. He has returned back to the show. Hey OMG, guys. Chad. Uh, What's up, buddy? Going? Well, hey. so 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 here's the exciting. Um, I'm gonna say irony, but that's gonna give it a negative twinge. I don't mean for there to be any negative twinge. Like, uh, I, I I'm gonna say like this journey. Like, I I don't know. I've got we've been really nostalgic lately, and I've we've been talking about how like we did Halloween Horror Nights back in 2008, and in so many ways, pre Periscope, you and I were doing Periscopes for yeah. hours and hours and hours on the road. Uh, because Justin TV said that app, set up that app. We we would do entire shows at World of Beer with Justin, and then and then you and I would argue uh, in in the car for hours and hours and hours. Remember at when a time. I brought the phone into the bathroom and you got so mad? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, this doesn't seem like a story Brian wants told. So I would please Brian's ask Chad. Like, hey, we're having a good moment. Why the hell did you bring that up? I forgot all about that. It was it was you the early so... days where I was like I was like Chad, I'm a professional magician trying to sell my stuff. You just took a live stream into the the shitter. <laughs> wow, you don't do that. Don't know. Wait, like, no what were you doing? Were you doing like live sitting on the toilet? No, I think I was pissing no. or something. No, yeah, it was just yeah. No, we just had to go to the bathroom at some point. So like, I put it in my pocket. <laughs> you so, like, you no kept the conversation could... alive. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, yeah, you had the right like... instincts as a broadcaster. <laughs> <laughs> Capture it all. We'll edit later. Right. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, but, oh, my but... God. Wait, no. Sun button. How do I get to Chad's Gap from the bottom of Alta, which is maybe about as old school as old school can get in terms of this live stream? Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah I think so. Chad, like now you've, you've gone on. Uh, 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 you were really the, the forebearer of anybody that we were live streaming with way back in the day to come to Twitch. So really, I mean, this has all been a clever ruse for us to ask you uh, uh, your 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 opinion uh, of, of, of how we should handle now that we're allowed on Twitch again. Oh, gosh. Uh, 
I don't like, know. You want like content Chad, ideas? No, like, Chad, Chad's like, uh, oh gosh, you didn't tell me you wanted a free consultation hour. Normally that's <laughs> exactly. two hundred. By the Sorry, way, my, my rates have changed since up. with Brushwood. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess that's that's the funny part for me is that is that you were there at the beginning and then you were there to watch us. In fact, you jumped over to Twit uh, as mm -hmm. we were still on Justin TV, and then we joined Twit and then uh, and then get got kicked out of Justin TV as it became Twitch. <laughs> yeah. So there's yeah. Twit, Twitch, and Twitter. <laughs> yeah. Right. And uh, like all of which are live stuff. streaming platforms. God. Yeah. No, it's been, I mean, it's, uh, I think all the time of all the crazy stuff that, like, we did or were such a precursor to what things are now, like, it's insane. It's just so stupid. Like, I remember the first time we started playing video games on Twit, and uh, that felt, like, so new and fresh. And then it, there's, like, this whole industry about it now. Like, well, I remember and, when you first played Skyrim. Yes, yes, Twit. yes. Uh, uh, and I remember I remember that's part of uh, before Brant even worked with us. I think he made a, a, a poster yeah. that said, Chicken Adventure 4, fire. Yeah. And it was all about me burning chickens and all that stuff. Like, And so much of what we were doing, just pulling shit out of our ass, has ended up becoming the culture, this, this whole culture. I mean, I don't want to say we yeah. defined it, but... Yeah, I, I, I'm not we're gonna say first. that it's all because of us, and we're the forefathers of literally what all this is built. But like, <laughs> you know, I mean, let's yeah. just like. But I mean, yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna say it. I mean, if somebody else in the chat room wants to say it over and over and over again, then that's that's fine. I mean, uh, I'm not gonna say it. I'm just gonna wink. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, there was somebody. There was somebody as we as we came rushing back now that twitch allows for uh live live tv shows basically uh uh one of the complaints that 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 because uh, again change is scary for everyone but one of the complaints i heard was like i don't know i don't like the twitch chat it's just this vomit of nonsense and spam all through and i'm just like yeah we would never participate that to the tune of getting banned from our own network's chat room and relegated <laughs> to the unfiltered chat because we love spamming the chat with diamonds so much <laughs> i think that's my favorite part of like twitch chats like like my my chat is pretty calm and pretty like oh hi how you doing but i just love going to those twitch chats that are just like complete cancer where it's like you can tell that everyone is just like trying to one-up everyone else and the streamer's like stop spamming such and such, <laughs> yeah. and they're just like, bro, yeah, well, there's and there, cute. There, yeah, exactly. there was, there was somebody in the in the in the subreddit <laughs> that was saying like, I don't see what the big deal is. Once you get over fifty thousand people, there's only two things you can do: you can cheer and do the wave. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. it doesn't matter if there's a five second or an eight second lag when you're cheering or doing the wave. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, uh, yep. So, so, so what Breaking is what bonkers. is your favorite part about Twitch that 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 we have yet to experience? Now, now that we are we are neophytes to this platform. Oh, geez. You've experienced it all. I mean, I think uh, you know the biggest thing that I think really uh, changes a lot of people's perspective is when they see the chat room do something that. Uh, that goes beyond what the streamer themselves could do, like you know how you guys did the compliment bombs back in the day, or like all that stuff. But you guys have experienced it all. Like like Twitch to you guys is a downshift than uh, really a big <laughs> like upshift. I mean, dude, I would have agreed. What with a that? shitty welcome wagon! Hold you on, are. no, 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 like, no, no, time out, time out, time out. You might not get to the valley. And this is kind of like, you know yeah, this know, product is shit off. that you guys are excited about. Time Horrible. out. Uh, uh, I would have agreed with that until the fucking writer of Frog Fractions shows up in our chat. Like, that that shit was not happening when we were in our cool VIP lounge doing a That's private true. gig for, for our own people. By the way, uh, yeah. you know something we could play now that we could never play before? What's that? Does anyone have a link to, to the banned mail route ad? <laughs> that Why? Why can't I you actually play it now? do because just the other day, uh, Cheeto sent it to me. One second. Yeah. Uh, no way. So okay. That's so funny. <laughs> uh, uh, they were just in and in. 
<laughs> they were just mentioning like, that. This is so the kind of thing. Is this the theme? <laughs> the theme is us getting in trouble for things. And by the way, yeah. Chad could actually tell oh, the behind the scenes story. No. Of oh, yeah, because Chad You're was like definitely a... the one who saw the calendar item that said fire NSFW today. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> right. That's right. Apparently, I've been banned. My messages were sent too quickly. Uh, but yes. <laughs> There uh, you go. All right. So so somehow um, uh, we, uh, we had an advertiser who we wanted to express that they were warriors of the night who defeated. Um, oh, man. So 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 we wanted to explain. This is the, like a look back. Yeah. Let's, is this w. is a look back. Yeah, I mean, so this is there used to be a time where we had enough viewers. We got ads. And <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. But. So here's the thing. We wanted to express that 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 defeating spam Looking was great, good, and this was the original video that that was a conglomeration Justin, of put stuff. On a few Justin pounds since said, those years. T two T two edited together this masterpiece. Uh, just take it take it just trip down young memory lane. FW, do you want maximum no spam? Are you tired of having minimum no spam? Welcome to MailRoute.info. You're gonna get maximum no spam. Quit being a sissy. We want maximum no spam for you at MailRoute.i. And F O, <laughs> you don't want it all up in your face, yelling at you like some sort of deranged homeless person. No, mail route dot info. You can edit your MX record, then you are taking it to the max. You're gonna get maximum no spam. Mail route dot info. Thomas, where's my pen, please? Like, Stop emailing me, mother. Mail route dot info. Try maximum no spam exercises like the quiet inbox. <laughs> <laughs> Mail route dot info. Quit being a sissy. Mail route dot info. It sticks a stick of dynamite in Spam's mouth and throws it off a bridge and watches it explode. <laughs> Trademark. So yeah, so that Whoa. was that was a successful ad. That was a gorgeous. Was. Who did that ad anyways? Who who did all the like that visuals? That was T2T2. T2, that was it? all T2T2, T2, oh, man. Oh man, so uh, good. And and uh, so you know what? Not as good as uh. I, I, well, I that one, that one, uh, that was. That was the Goldilocks zone. That was not too hot, not too cold. It was irreverent enough that MailRoute loved us. They actually put on there, it still might be on their website, uh, that Maximum No Spam became an actual tagline for them. It was right. on the uh, on the front of their website. They loved us. So they, they were an advertiser with us on the Twit version of this show for a very, very, very long time. So and and it was all going so well. On 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 the music side of this, this was a Soundwave joint, right? This was Soundwave made it, and it was T two T two turned it into Soundwave. a video. Mm -hmm. That's right. This one. So so, uh, so all so all all you need to know if you just saw that is that that's the beginning of us being encouraged to be irreverent during ads, and this right. is the end of us. Largely because, because the advertisers it was, it blew it over the top. Largely because the advertisers was. wrote us emails saying, we absolutely love how irreverent you are with our ads. Bloop. And then, so this happened. By the way, spam is a rapist. Sounds like a dance song. <laughs> <laughs> An advertiser love that. What's wrong with? I remember the the behind the scenes at Twit. There was like this moment of like, what they say the mail route was. <laughs> All right, now, now time, time out. Like They're I am like, aware that maybe our old network was not thrilled with it. So I tell some of my friends we're at a land party. I'm like, yeah, I don't know, I don't know how well. I mean, this is pretty funny. Take a look, and they look at it. And I remember one of the comments was. 
I'm not entirely sure why needing a boner is an effective defense <laughs> against a rapist. But right. if that's if the anything, case, it's a worse position <laughs> than the analogy. If it's that's not a good part of the analogy, Listen, I would if you rape a rapist, product. then it cancels each other out. <laughs> yeah. so everyone knows that. It's a double negative. It's a double, a double negative. negative. Now, now, what I, I, I thought. Like <laughs> that was a real boner, dude, or something. Like, isn't that like a negative thing? Uh, well, a boner, boner can be a to, problem. It can go either it can way. Mean a conundrum. It can go either yeah. way. Right. So, uh, real boner. so yeah, it doesn't have to make sense once you start like it's provocative. Looking into... I mean, how is rhythm a dancer? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, rhythm rhythm is, yeah, yeah, if, if, if we're poking holes in all the logic, like then, then yeah, sure. <laughs> Which, by so, the way, I think that's it was my more favorite. like these. Rhythm is a dancer, and so obviously, spam is a rapist. <laughs> you know, these yeah. are two actual yes. equal things. By the way, that is number one. My favorite part of the song is is the moment when Justin starts explaining how this is different. Like, rhythm is a dancer, but <laughs> spam is a rapist. Totally different things. Mail route, it's your boner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, our network for which takes money, so we uh, uh, re repeat an enterprise level mailing service, is 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 not pleased with us. And uh, you see a calendar item in the internal which, calendar. Which, by the way, we don't know what this calendar item says. We have a calendar item where they say, "Hey, can we get you on the phone with the sponsor just to clear things up?" We're like, "Yeah, of course, of course sure. we can." Absolutely. Uh, what was that? What was that calendar item labeled as, Chad? Fire NSFW. It's <laughs> 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 like cancel NSFW as fast so we as possible. We were being brought on <laughs> to uh, uh, to be fired on the show, uh, or sorry, on on this conference call rather. Uh, so uh, we would no longer be on uh, on the network. I think what it wound up getting reduced to. Well, hold on, and, and you could tell because we're on the phone and we're like, like, hey, uh, so you blah 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 the this thing, and they they say uh, they're like, hey, we just wanted to talk about you know how over the line this um this 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 uh, ad was, and uh, and then there's like a half second pause, and then what follows is three minutes nonstop of the sponsor saying how much they really enjoy our ads. <laughs> and, yeah, yeah. And, and that, I, I, they want it to be as irreverent as it is before. Just do us a favor. Let's just go ahead and get a hard uh, forever banned list on the word rape. Right, which, by the way, Not we boner. did. Not boner, for we, the record. Not we boner, did, <laughs> We did already have a hard ban list. They, we, it, already Hitler was banned. That's right, they're you like, had <laughs> Hitler on the ban list. They are like, no of... Hitler, and then they're like, and from now on, also, no rape. <laughs> Outside of that, love what you're doing. You guys are great. And wait, so, was that before or after Click Clack? Because Click Clack is what got me banned from reading it. Uh, that was, I don't know. I think it was after. It's, yeah. But then after that, like, you guys had to rein it in, and so there was Ad Dragon. Who... Well, yeah, no, okay, for the... <laughs> we reined it in. <laughs> that yeah, was... Well, okay, yeah, you had to show that you were trying to be better. Rein, uh, reined yeah, it which, in. Yeah, which apparently... Reined it in because you were the king of ads. <laughs> Hi, Wait, uh, like a rain. Oh, like rain, 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 supreme with the ad dragon. Yeah, yeah. actually, well, I, I think you know, uh, 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 ad dragon might be, uh, might be, might be. Uh, call it. Hold on, wait. Let me, let me, let me. All right, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I'll explain to everyone. Hey, if you missed it, that was not the that was not the thing that set everything on fire. What set everything on fire? I, I don't even remember what set it on fire. But at some point, they are like, fine. Justin can never do ads again. To which we said, you got it, boss. Justin will never do an ad. And so the next time, it, it, in the middle of the show, I stopped and I was like, hey, it's time for me to talk about this service that's not currently paying us right now. Uh, uh, is there anyone who knows about this service? Hey, y'all, it's me, the <laughs> Ad Dragon. Oh, my goodness, the oh, Ad Dragon. Ad Dragon. Another hey, ad deal back. coming into the station, y'all. <laughs> well, you're certainly not Justin Robert Young. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. hell no, you silly goose. I'm just the ad dragon. I'm I like here how you just still have that sumo ad read. Dude, I'm around. Well, I'm hey, still I still have that, that like biscuits. next to your desk. <laughs> Under your seat, I don't know, Dad. You have one too. Nice to see you, by the oh, way. Oh, this shit. is just a oh, fun. No. no. 
<laughs> well, <laughs> uh, well, Ad Dragon, it's it's good of you to join us on the show. Is there anything that you want to suggest to us? Uh, I, well, I want everybody to keep it clean, keep it safe. Remember to just read the copy, and remember that a little Ad Dragon lives in all of us inside. Good night, y'all. <laughs> well, thank you, Ad Dragon. <laughs> Uh, all oh. right, dude. <clears throat> Luckily, wait, wait, wait. I thought you were friends. Oh, wait. Oh, mm-hmm. what, I'm looking up. Mm, nothing. By the way, I was looking at uh, the wrong monitor. I, I think I think my favorite my favorite part. And if you go back and watch the first Ad Dragon thing, is that all I told Brian beforehand was, "Hey, I'm not allowed to read ads, but." What happens when professional wrestlers get banned? They just show up the next week in a mask. Well, and, and so all Brian knew was uh, that uh, I was uh, going to uh, come uh, on in a mask. That's not. He did that's not, not know the voice. Nope, 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 no. Nope. Like, we agreed, like Pinky promised, that it's like, okay, we could do this mask thing, but the only way we get away with this is if you read the copy totally straight. And you're like, Swear, I'm only gonna say exactly Pinky the promise. words. Pinky promise. Here we and go. You could totally see, straight you motherfucker. You mu- you could see the moment he comes on. The look in my eyes. I'm like, you motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if somebody can find, somebody just go back and find Brian's face the second that the voice starts coming out of that mask. Uh, oh, I think I think this is it right here. Folks so over at Pond Five, Justin. You guys remember you heard Pond, Pond Five? five? Oh, oh, this was this. Well, all right, pause, pause. pause. Pond, this is when Justin was being a little bit of a baby about like I, I, I was told I couldn't read ads. I can't talk. Can't say <laughs> Which anything. I was, for the record, I was yeah. told I couldn't read ads. <laughs> Ever heard of Pond Five? Huh. All right, well, that's cool. I'll go ahead and I'll tell you a little bit about Pond Five. Pond <laughs> five is <laughs> How long do we market. do this? Man. I don't remember. I also remember there was like a bit where like Justin would start to talk, and then he. Was- oh wait! Here it is. Here it is. <laughs> the- what is that? Hey Brian, it's me. Twit sent me. I'm the ad dragon. I'm gonna read your ads for you since <laughs> Justin got suspended. No, that's 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 not. That can't be. I. <laughs> no Brian, don't worry. <laughs> no, it can't be. Hot damn! It's coming into the station here with the ad dragon. <laughs> with Pond Five, you can go ahead and get photos, vector illustrations, oh music tracks, sound effects, customizable motion graphics <laughs> templates, and 3D models. <laughs> Meanwhile, the collection's growing. By leaps and bounds every day, y'all. It can't Ad be. Dragon, this is, look, um, look at Ryan's face. He's he's not he's expecting like, this. We're definitely getting canceled. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Justin's not here, but it's important that we stick to the script. We got to get Pond Five's message out that they have awesome, awesome. All right, content. hey, you want to know what? Enough, en- en- enough of Pond Five. Enough of the Ad Dragon. Uh, there's only one pe- one group of people, one people plural. That pays us now, and that is Patreon.com slash Night Attack. Hells yeah, that's the reason we're loud, light, and independent and able to mock everyone, <laughs> regardless, because we piss might piss off, off. You know, we might piss off, you know, an OMG chat here or there, but he could be bought off with with six two dollar bills. Uh, but you know who can't is one thousand five hundred and eighteen of you guys. Sorry, 1,522 of you guys who are keeping us loud, live, and independent. We cannot thank you guys enough for your support of Night Attack. Don't forget, man, if you enjoy hanging out with us, we start an hour before every episode. We keep going for an hour to two hours after every episode. And only if you sign up and become a patron, you get your very own RSS feed. So you get to spend double the time hanging out with us. Head on over to, uh, uh, I can't count, Uh, (laughs) patreon.com slash night attack and... If you raise your pledge to a dollar or more or make any kind of increasing, you, my friends, could get to participate in our little tradition called... Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Night Attack new Patreon name chant corner hour. It's an hour of... (laughs) Look, man, I don't know what they're doing. I don't know what they're doing. Well, neither do I, Brian. Uh, but somebody wrote us a message. Somebody posted us a message. 
And uh-huh. I assume he's a patron because he was able to post it in there. He just said, you're working for me now, boys. Oh my. That's <laughs> impressive. I mean, I'll tell you what. If it's somebody who adjusted or became a new patron or adjusted their pledge, uh, 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 we, we, we are uh, obligated to say their name over and over and over again. Uh, uh, Brian, do you know who that is? Yes, uh, I'm trying to verify that he gave money, but who cares? I'm going to call him out either. Oh, wait, wait, he pledged. Whoa, whoa. He pledged more than enough. And our new God is Edmund. Edmund. Cole. It's a hard rat 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 Hey yo Thank you very much Edmund Cole man <laughs> You're the best person on the planet We work for you now And we can't thank you enough for making our show possible <laughs> Chad um I don't think you got to t- I think you only heard one third of that bit <laughs> Yeah I was like I was so good. I was like, God, I hope they don't ask me to like say his name because I have no idea. What it is. <laughs> We're having new Skype funness where uh, uh, the echo is on Chad's line, so he can't hear the echo. Oh, so he oh, oh he got, it, got, got it, a really got clean Justin version. Justin and Brian talk. I hear nothing. So during the uh, like, <laughs> silence. All right, look. Here's the important thing. I'm gonna I'm gonna do myself a favor. So Brian is going to rip his hand open. Yeah, no, it's dumb. Yeah, it's dumb, and I'm a dumb yeah, wait, person. Yeah, wait, Chad. Chad, are you are you squeamish with uh with with gore or uh, or, or or mangled hands? Is that something yeah. that you're, you're, you're squeamish about? Well, yeah. uh, dude, do you know about this? Do you know what happened? I saw you posted on Instagram like every day. You're like, hey, what? <laughs> do you remember yesterday when you saw a slightly less healed version of this? <laughs> <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. It's, con- yeah. it's a content fountain. <laughs> it is. It's like, so he's yeah. so the time is up. It's been ten days, so he can take the stitches out. And and well, they- normally what you would do is that you would go to a doctor or a hospital or something, and no. they would use all the proper implements to make sure that all the stitches came out fine, that everything was healed correctly, like localized. In a- st- <laughs> yeah. No. But, uh, actually, uh, instead- I, I I don't think they do any anesthetic on that. No, they don't. Yeah. Probably not for taking them. Uh, out. Oh, I don't yeah. know, Brian. It depends. <laughs> you know, maybe they maybe they did. So here's what we're gonna do. Uh, uh, do you wanna do you wanna set this up here, Brian? Who are we gonna? Because because we're not gonna show it directly. Because that that I think does violate Twitch's TOS. <laughs> I, but I, I, we'll I narrate it here. All right. Look, Bonnie will help out. We'll get everybody well, here. Hey, I I I <clears> think <throat> everybody. On Twitter, should uh, I think we should get banned from yet another network that starts with T W uh, I T by hitting up Twitter right now? So he goes. So like, he's at Schwood on oh, Periscope. You could do that. Oh, and okay. he's going to Periscope the the close up footage of this procedure. Yeah. Well, no, no, Brian, you can show what it is before and 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 and, and, after. and after, just yeah. so everybody knows this isn't a yeah. fake. A lot of people are probably thinking, Brian, you're a magician. You're the host of Scam School. You're probably scamming us. There w- never was a drone. Your hand isn't cut up. This is all Hollywood effects. So we're gonna we're gonna do our best to prove it to you guys. And then Bryce, who is very squeamish with this, is going to narrate through <laughs> oh, all of it. So, so Bryce, I oh, need so, so Bryce, right you can top. open yeah. up. You can open so, the Periscope feed, which yeah. right now is showing. What are we seeing right now? This uh, is a live cross promotional event. I don't By the way, sun fun in the no. chat. Circumcision. Clap, 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 <laughs> clap, clap, clap. All right, we already have 150 people tuned in on, on Periscope. If you want to see both sides of the conversation, please join us at twitch.tv slash night attack. Okay, so we do have the Periscope up. I see your laptop with your bank passwords and uh, all wait, of what your Wait, what the fuck? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. <laughs> all this your, is a two-handed job. You're going to remove Bonnie, your own stitches. You can play a camera person. Yeah, so Bonnie's going to hold the camera. All right, all right, all right. We need someone for the flashlight mm-hmm. and a glass and a nail. 
Should have a flashlight. Can you turn on the? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Chad got it. Chad got this, it. Uh, yeah, this old uh, trick was performed by a man over a hundred years ago. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so so uh, they cannot hear you, Bonnie. Those are so, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. I'm getting lots of hearts. The hearts, of course, mean they hope that my blood continues to go. So he's taking off the band aids. How many band aids are on this hand? All Four, of them. Five? I use. I bought. I bought a hundred band aids. Why didn't you just band aids? Bandages. Wait, what? What, what's going on? What's, Sorry, guys. What did you do? <laughs> she, uh, she's what she uh, borked. She borked the chat. D- double tap. Can you imagine some like poor child who loves okay. scam school that didn't even yes. read your tweet? It's like, oh, Brian's doing a Periscope. <laughs> <Yeah>. Oh, <laughs> scam school. I just saw, I just saw I Bonnie on the Periscope. You this is great. Periscope. I can't read. I'm only five. By, but by, let me by the way, I'll again, again, if you want to join us? That's Twitch.tv/slash Night Attack. By the way, so so as I was holding the drone. There was two sides. One was the red lightning bolt that went down the back of my hand. The other was the red mist of of the first layer of skin being shaved off right here. Yeah. It just went like this. And then know. there we it go. It was better than what my dad said. He was kind of looking around for something. And he says, I don't know. I saw something fly off here. I was, I was wondering if it was Brian's finger. <laughs> so he <laughs> lost her crap. I was like, All right, so what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna what have type to... of drone was this? He just got a uh, DJI like, Inspire. Yeah, yeah. That's right. It's, it's the it's Inspire 1.0. Drone. Yeah. So, um, so, so he's got all the band aids off, and uh, he's he's taking his ring off, and uh, he is. <laughs> oh, you're yeah. uh, you're all oh, out there, like aren't you, Mr. Here. Brushwood? Oh my gosh! Did right. you did so you what, sterilize I guess these? First, I don't know. So yeah, he's sterilized, right? For some reason, yeah. he's pulling out a match. Well, because that's you, you're like, supposed to sterilize. Because Bonnie farted. What? Wait, you're gonna light your I hand on I can't believe you fire? would throw me. I've been so, he's, so supportive in taking the trash out this whole time. So uh, he's lighting. So he, he's heating up the, the the. He's got like um the little pincers, and uh, so he's heating up with a match. They're called forceps or scissors. Forceps or I whatever. Don't okay. I don't know. I've How never really done this. All right, get, get in real close. Get, uh, All right. Okay, so, but at this point, right, by the way, by the way, these all, are so ow, healed. Ow, ow, ow. Ooh, ooh, it's yeah. hot. It's well, hot. It's yeah. gonna be <laughs> hot. Because I lit it on Metal's hot because you caught it on fire. Actually. All right. All right. Here, here. Every, yeah, everybody, we're this. gonna try to be very, very quiet because because the crosstalk is really bad. So Bryce, you are carrying the stream okay. right now and go. All right. So he's, uh, I believe, is, is is he's getting kind of a good handle on one. He's trying to get a good handle on just one of the of the stitches. Uh, does does he have it? Does he have it? I'm, well, trying I'm, trying, I'm trying to move them all around. They're like You're... dip switches. If you've ever flipped them on a computer. Yes. If you know, if you were born in an age where you know what a dip switch is, it is like one of those. Okay. All right. <laughs> a bully good. called me that in elementary school. Oh, all right. All right. All right. All right. Here we go. All right. He's got all the right. four set now. And he's cutting in. Oh, he's cutting in. Does that look gross? It, I don't know. I kind of can't tell. I have to look at it oh, on the phone. Oh, I did it. I did it. What did you do? I, no. I cut it. Uh, okay. He, oh, there. who's the man? He's got it. He's got it in his fingers. He's, look he's at that. He's Call successfully me Frank Castle. And there's no some Is it part painful? of the stitches. Does it hurt? Yeah, no. Uh, I'm invulnerable. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, right. It's like your myelin. So he's, he's putting, can you play it up? Jesus, going. this is like our ending bit. He's like putting it in the, the what's crazy is he's putting it like parallel to the hand Ooh. to the to the like if I if if I might do a visual gag for one from for one minute. He's like he's doing it in parallel with the stitch, so it almost Not looks cool. like he's putting it into the wound directly, which I yep. guess technically but, he kind of is. By the way, now's a real good time and to so, let all of our pers- Periscope friends know that they can join us over at twitch.tv slash night attack. Slash night attack. Hey, by the way, the history of removing stitches is almost <laughs> as old as recorded history. <laughs> We just got a scam stuff order. I saw. Him. <laughs> Did we just get a scam stuff order? <laughs> so, uh, so how, how about how far are you in? Ten percent. I'm, half, I'm yeah, halfway through, and this is like look. way. And nothing's bleeding. It's just look at this. Good. I can make oh, fists. Wow. Don't don't do that. Is it Why like not? one skin. big stitch, or is it like individual? Like, is it one stitch or, or multiple little ones? Like one string that's like stitched together. So oh you no, have no, like no 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 no! That, that's how they do stitches. Is you have to they they have to do a bunch of little ones, and then and then I always thought it was one long one. No, 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 Me no. Too. So each one is individually tied off. It's not your grandma's So to, to give people a visual identi- uh, a visual like <laughs> description, it looks like his hand is a football now. Yeah, okay. Like the the scarring <laughs> is going <laughs> to leave a football sort of well, shape. All right, that's accurate. I missed the name, but somebody said 
I'm watching you while I'm cooking. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> on good. The periscope. <laughs> Someone else said uh, I'm watching you while I'm masturbating. What? Weird. <laughs> Sorry, that's somebody else's me right now. Scott Mackin. <laughs> So uh, you have a better look. Is there is there any blood coming out, or is nope. this healed up? It's healed up. Like when I saw him move the stitches, like dip. when you saw me flip the dip. When, when I you saw, saw you flip when you saw the, the dip, dip flipping, I was like, switch. yeah, you could totally do it. Yeah, just don't what, overdo it. Can, can you, Brian? Brian, can you get Jack Grip? Jack Grip? Jack Grip? Oh, oh, Jack oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 no. Well, inappropriate. No, what do you mean? No, I mean, that's, no, what's no, inappropriate like, is, like you're, is like you're like your name, Jack. Like you're just yeah, like, just oh, how Jack's Jack, grip. Me. Yeah. Yeah. It. It's like, like it just because Jack likes sausage. And so he likes to just eat them. Oh, yeah, he likes to eat bananas. Lily, right? All right. All right. Doing okay, that, all like, right. He's, just, he's not bleeding. What are we doing here? I mean, you want to know what's in a like, Yeah, I tested that first day. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. You just lost a sponsor over that. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Now, now we'll never Spam get the Jack. Spam is a Jack thread. Spam it was, it was is Jack a... threads. Or wait, wait, wait. Jack <laughs> threads. <laughs> they were like, yeah, nope. like you. Jack Links is still Jack fine with us, though. <laughs> Jack Links is like messing with Sasquatch. That's what we call it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right. All right. So go. I think he's got kind of on the last couple of them. Oh, um, this is the last one. Dude, look at that. He got seven Today stitches. Today I became a man. Look at that. Oh, my God. It's so much more oh, comfortable. Don't. don't don't you just want to okay. just split it open. Just no, feels yeah, like no. It's going do, to. Do, some, do some obscene hand gestures, Joe. Just, just to see if it works. Mm. Right. Oh, so he's doing the finger. Ooh. He's doing the finger okay. in the hole. He's got. Uh, oh, he's wait, doing the bunny. Okay. Let's, let's oh, make like it walking. look like you're walking. Oh. Wait, oh, wait, wait, wait. Do this. No, no, not that. Not Can the you do full the church crab. And the steeple? Yeah, yeah. Uh, open the door and see all the people. Uh, yeah, I can't. This is the one that's still gross. That's the one that I can't believe that yeah. nobody cares about. But whatever, dude. But, I think it worked. I think we did it. I think. I think. Uh, so you got them all out. They're all out. Yeah, I, all I feel out. like a man now. You are a man. Uh, I can Bryce, prove is it. he a man? Can Three you children. confirm or I, deny that he's a man? Uh, 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 Initial estimates show that he <laughs> is probably still a man. He he yeah. appears to have a Y chromosome, people. You know, even if. All right, well, if you're on things... the Periscope feed, we're going to shut you off now, but come join us over at twitch.tv slash night attack, and we're going to talk. We'll answer all your questions live. Uh, is it where we yeah, here we go. No, I, it, I, it no, is, it is no, it's called alive. Can, can you that's, dump. <laughs> That's turn how you off, get. Turn that's, it off. That's, that's how you get. Yeah, turn, turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it off. Just right here. Swipe. Yeah. Here. Okay. There you go. The People right are saying, "Looks infected. <laughs> that scar is gonna be badass." <laughs> it is gonna be a pretty badass scar, there right? I mean, no, dude. Viewers. There'll be no scar. You'll be fine. I mean, you work with your hands. We see a lot of your hands on video. Oh, hey, Jay just called. All Hold on. Time. Oh, okay. Hey, Jay, you're live on the air. What's up? We are doing an old school show. Oh, I cannot yeah. believe you decided to just snip your own things. <laughs> <laughs> you you don't think that was a good idea, Jay? Uh, no, I, I I would like to see a nurse or registered nurse or a. But Bonnie doctor. and I we got we got a costume. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we you're the you're the customer. We can do it however you like. I'm, I'm just glad my stitches dissolved. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! All right, that's enough. All right, love you, Jay. Bye. Oh my god! All right. Oh boy, what is it? what turns did we take? So anyway, I'm gonna put on this antibiotic ointment. I'm gonna pat myself on the back. Okay. Uh, and, and by the way, Chad, how excited are you that you can uh, have the option to be a part of these things as opposed to Brian just ordering yeah. you to do things and hold cameras? And, and Absolutely. I could just turn tail and run at any moment. It's like, OK, well, this is gross. I'm hey, uh, speaking, speaking of which, uh, uh, talk to us about what you're up to these days. Like with uh, hold on, speaking of which, that makes it sound like um, <laughs> uh, AT&T, you got uh, being unemployed and such. How is that working out for <laughs> Wait, oh, you're not unemployed. What? No, I know. Oh, I mean, we all are basically yeah. unemployed, but that's great. Um, we're, we're all that's, unemployable. That's I mean, like, like we, we thought that Brian removing his own stitches on air would be a hilarious bit. So what the fuck do we know? <laughs> like, yeah, no, like, things are going great. Um, I stream uh, three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, whenever the schedule works out. Uh, OMG Craft is three videos a week. Uh, I still do the Gizwiz with Diggy D, Gizwiz.tv. And, uh, yeah, I mean, things are going great. 
I have my own yeah, what, I, a store I, like scam stuff. Hello, omg.com. Uh, yeah. So what are you focused on on your store? Uh, I, I know that, uh, that there's a lot of like, you know, inside meme stuff. Uh, right. Uh, what else? I mean, my, I find my Twitch audience is my most dedicated audience. And so uh, we do stuff for with the cats, like the posters. There's a seasonal poster uh, with the cats. So all four seasons uh, do a, po- a, a lot of posters, some shirts, some uh, like accessories. And then the Gizmos has its own little section. Yeah. Just like. I don't know, basic little things. So, oh my God, he's got a it's, cat. Taco. It's very waffles uh, <laughs> centric. Very cat yeah. centric. Yeah, definitely. Uh, dude, how did how did that whole AT and T thing come together? Because all of a sudden, like, uh, I'm just I'm trying to scroll as fast as I can through all the ads on Twitter, and 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 there's uh, uh, OMG Chad uh, uh, just trying to be the best AT and T man he can be. I was blown away. Yeah, it's, it's just an email. Uh, just uh, some headhunter found me and uh, wanted me to. <laughs> I like that one. That's the 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 Mexican one. I retweeted that because it's like, wow, the places I did not realize that this would go. The one is uh, they Spanish. They like my chat on the street bit. Huh? <laughs> Omg, chat, toma las calles pre- y pregunta qué es lo más haces en el internet. If you translate that, it's really fu- the tr- human translation is like really funny. It's like. How does internet work? What does it say? I can't read that. It says, uh, OMG Chad takes the street and asks, what more do on the internet? <laughs> what more do on the internet? <laughs> right. So, uh, so yeah, that was, that was fun. And uh, they have a local foundry um, where they do a whole bunch of Internet of Things stuff here in Dallas. So um, I went to that to see some of the things that AT&T is doing with, like, the Internet of Things. It was really neat. It was a really fun project. Uh, so, at, at any moment. Do you feel because I, yeah, I know uh, Chad on the street has been a bit that you've done for a very, very long time. It's obviously something that you have a little bit of familiarity with. But is there ever a moment when you're laying down with a stranger on the street and you know what you're getting paid for this AT&T thing? And you're like, what is life like? This is just <laughs> not yeah. Real thing. Oh, yeah. Like, like I, I even felt that way back in the day. Like, OK, so you go into a, 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 a restaurant. Right. And there's some dude. This is like way back, but this is when I first started thinking about this stuff. There's some dude like making balloon animals in the corner, right? And as a restaurant goer, like you ignore that guy or you're like, oh, that's interesting. They have like some balloonist or whatever. By the way, you move on with your life. I was that guy. But that's some guy, right? Like that's some dude that has a life. He's having like family issues. He's like having to pay (laughs) rent, you know? It's like you never think that that's like a normal – it's almost like it's like a prop or like an accessory. Yeah. that You don't think of that person as, as someone who exists and like has their own life. And I feel that way all the time. Like I can't believe my life is a life where like AT&T is contacting me and like we want you <laughs> to lay down on the street. OK, We're, they had their own like production company. They had their own like producer – who I'm trying to like tell him how it works. Like, well, okay, and, yeah, and we do, just do, go out there. We t- ask people. T- time like, out real quick. Do you find yourself giving like artistic directions? Say like, well, I like there to be not a lot of garbage, but maybe yes. two candy wrappers and a footprint that was in yes. mud. Yes. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, the best shot here. Okay. Like from a cinematographer's point of view is to, is to get me on the ground, but then pan up exactly when a car goes by so people can tell that I'm actually on the street, right? So that the bit really <laughs> reads to the audience and is, ah, mwah, magnifico, mwah, that's perfect. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, you know what? So wait, My- do you do that bit now, aside from AT&T, or was that something that you did? That, 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 that was an established bit that you did, right? Yeah. For a long time, it was if we were – this is going to sound a little silly, but if uh, when it was uh, – Patreon was over 1,000. It was once a month. I do one. Patreon went under 1,000, yeah. so I don't do them as much anymore. Um, well, we but, used yeah. to – look, we know what you're talking about. We used to yeah. wear a funny hat when yes. our Patreon was above 2,000. What did yeah. you do when you were above a certain number? I did chat on the street. <laughs> you laid yeah. down in garbage. I laid down, yeah, on a street. Yeah, and asked other people to join me. <laughs> maybe maybe AT&T will call you gentlemen and ask you to wear your funny hats. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> probably not, not. Probably not after tonight. Yeah. 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 I mean, they're all, look, look, man, I'll get more stitches and remove them. Don't worry. Don't you worry. <laughs> Transmedia properties, sure. 
Right. <laughs> yeah, it's really funny too because I think you use AT and T gigabit. Are, are you yeah, on dude. That? No, no, no. I do. I do have a gigabit AT and T. Uh, I think uh, they call all right, it... Chad. You're off the clock. You've done your job for them. <laughs> I, know, I know. I know. But it was so funny because I do too, right? So I'm like, they're telling me about how it works and stuff. And you're like, yeah. And I'm I know. like. No, I got it. Like, yeah, I got it. It's at and my it, house. Then they're like, well, here's why you need it. You're like, you don't need to tell me why I need it, man. You don't need it. Yeah, exactly. The hentai ain't going to download itself. Yeah. Come on, man. What's going on? <laughs> uh, uh, Joko1 does point out that, you know, if spam is a rapist, then maybe AT&T could be your boner. See? Yeah, exactly, man. Although that metaphor would actually make more sense. You know, we could switch it up to be a little bit more timely where like yeah. – Slow internet speeds are your boner, but AT&T is your jack hand. <laughs> so, uh, wow. Now recently free uh, of stitches. Jack Grip. With the Jack Grip. Jack with Rip. the Jack Damn. Grip. Dude, no, I mean, no lie. It feels so good to be able to make a fist now. I couldn't do that before. <laughs> no lie. Are you, what are you talking ladies. about? It just makes me think I can make a fist. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, now you're just showing off, Michael Motion. Uh, all right. <laughs> what? All right. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, this has been a, 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 a hell of a show. We're going to be hanging out for a, a while longer here in the after show. But, Chad, uh, uh, obviously you're streaming uh, three nights a week. Uh, hey, uh, uh, is, there, is, there, is there anything else that, uh, that you want to get out there? Can, can I rephrase the question? Like, how do you explain what you are to people who don't speak Internet? Because we Very were talking poorly. about this in the pre-show with Bryce. Sure. Uh, where, where it's like – was... That was that was pre pre show, actually. but I mean, but it, it's a challenging thing. Sure. It's like, how do you explain? Like, I don't know. I get on the internet and talk, mm -hmm. I guess. Yeah. Right, and it's even worse for me because you guys, you know me. I mean, the joke is that I over explain shit. Like, that's the meme. Yeah. is that like I'm like, okay, so guys, so we could do it this way or this way or this way. Just want you to know all your options, right? So when someone tells asks me what I do, I'm like, well. I stream video games on Twitch, but I also have a YouTube channel. I also do a show called The Gizwiz where we review products and gadgets, but I also have a Patreon, and then I also have a store. And it's like, at the end of it, the, they're like, too much information. Like, I, I didn't need to know any of this. Like, why are you, you know, still talking, guy? You know, what's, yeah. you know what's funny for me is I remember I remember first meeting Chad, and he's like, like very stylishly bowling. I don't remember. You had like these amazing shoes or something. I don't know. It was like <laughs> stylish. Oh, you said bowling. Bowling. Yeah. I thought this you said like... he was stylishly bullying. No, no, it no. Was like, I, I thought he was like dressed like one of the droogs from a clockwork no, orange. Bowling your lunch, lunch money. <laughs> this is like, this very... is forever ago, but he's just this kid that is this adorable kid, you know? And then he come and then we get to know him and he works for us for a long time and everything. And, and, and then over the years, but, but Brian does this business and then people find out what he does and they go, and they used to say, and he makes a living at that, like unabashedly, oh, oh, yeah, unabashedly yeah, yeah, right. like, like, like people, what, just when it was just magic, yeah, when they're all like, magic. they're like, what do you do? It's like, oh, I do magic. They're like, and, and you can make a living doing that. Yeah. And it's yeah. like, yeah. like, and you would think. And uh, I mean, at they least, should be embarrassed of themselves. Well, at least, That's at least then, you know, I could immediately say it like, uh, well, you know, uh, after the second time of being on the Tonight Show, it gets pretty easy. Yeah. yeah. But then once Eat it got to grandma. be like, you know, he started, he, you know, he transitioned into doing online content. And so people did the same thing again, well, except and then it changed at one point and everybody changed what they said. And they said. And my kid wants to do that. And then they said, not yeah. only that, but basically they described Chad. Like they, they, they want to, they want to do this. And, and it's just the Chad. The goal like, was Chad. The goal is Chad. And I was just like, oh yeah, y'all should look up Chad Johnson. He's doing it. You know, <laughs> Dude, it's real. I, I you mean, know? that's, that's like, no joke. Like people are like, well, I mean, my son, he really loves Minecraft and he has this idea that he could just play Minecraft and have other people watch him and make a living. <laughs> Try to explain that's not a real job. And I'm like, well, technically. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I know this that. guy that just bought a house in Dallas. Yeah, uh, huh. he's doing just fine, you know. Yeah. <laughs> it's so, adorable. Uh, yeah. So which which is higher right now? Your your humbleness in that in that you know you've obviously reached a level of success where you could afford to be humble, or your frustration of just like no motherfucker, <laughs> fucking I make I make them dollars. I get them Thomas Jefferson two dollar bills. I'm making those dollars. I'm not making Thomas Jefferson, but. But I mean, yeah, I think it's definitely more humble. I mean, Lord tonight. Yeah, I, you know what? Okay, here's a crazy thing that the <laughs> yeah, I just made twelve bucks tonight, bitches. Oh, tonight getting paid oh. in two dollar bill. Um, 
so yeah, so but here's the I think the audience would love to hear this is like this was my dream way back, like way back. Do you remember when I, you went to T Myers to sit down and have lunch with me at on behest of Gus Davis? That was on your birthday, right? On my well, it was a few days after because yep. uh, they we had a tradition at that job that they did something big for your birthday. They forgot my birthday, Aww. so Gus was really trying to like make up for it. Yeah, because I was super enthralled with what you were doing with Scam School. I was like, that's what I want. Like, I want to do online content uh, exactly like that. And I was like asking Gus basically to meet you. And so, uh, well, yeah, that's he, he, here's the part. And I, and I, I hope that you'll take this in the positive spirit in which it's intended. But I remember once you started doing stagehand stuff for the show, we, at some point, you know, uh, give me 12 minutes and I'll start to become a life coach and I'll just start asking people what they want to do with their lives. And what does the perfect day look like to you? And I remember you describing your perfect day. It's like, well, I wake up and then I just turn on a camera and I just talk and the whole world <laughs> listens. And then, yeah. and then meanwhile, I, I, I how can I? How can I put this? Ryan just making the jack off motion, like <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm know, like, I sure, hope I don't have stitches sure that did. prevent me from doing this ten years from now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, but but at the time, Chad had a long way to go as far as his ability to speak extemporaneously, because you you had a lot of semantic crutches that you were relying on. But it has been amazing to watch you over the last six years. Like I I, I can tell this did not happen overnight or accidentally. Like it's something that you've worked on is how you sound when you are speaking off the cuff on camera, both when you're reading from a teleprompter and when you just have the camera and you're laying on a Thanks, filthy man. hobo street. Yeah, because <laughs> before you. you were garbage. Like, <laughs> no, I was. Oh, I was. There's literally in that first meat drunk episode or, or it was maybe even before that, I wanted to make some joke on the show. And like I asked for the mic and like literally couldn't get out the joke. And I remember that you guys just like railed in and be like, oh, Chad wanted to say something. He couldn't even get it out. Like I totally like just gave up. Like, oh, man, I don't know who those guys are, but they sound like real unsupportive assholes. <laughs> real, real fucks. I'll tell you what. That's who these God, guys sound funny. like. Uh, no, man. I mean, obviously, listen, we are, we're, 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 we're extraordinarily proud of you and everything that you have, uh, you've, you've done. And, and I'll tell you what, are you going to be coming down to PAX South? Yeah, I'll be at PAX South. Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, we were Either. thinking about, uh, can, can, can we tip a little, uh, can we tip a little? Well, tip a little I'm, I'm just, I'm just going to say, let me, uh, let me can we, check. Can we, there. you know, roll back that foreskin just a little? <laughs> What? Is that not a phrase? Is that what not what they say? Good night, everybody. I'm, good night. Oh, People don't say that. No. Hmm. no. Sorry. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, all I'm right. Like so, I am out. If these dick jokes are gonna keep happening, I'm gone. I know he's got a family-friendly channel, Brian. He sells cat posters. He sells least hey, Frank cat posters to keep the lights on in that Dallas mansion. <laughs> is. It's called Fancy Fridays, not Fantasy Fridays. Come on, Brian. <laughs> All right, so uh, we had mentioned before that there is a possibility because I'm going to be in San Antonio uh, the weekend of PAX South, although I'll probably won't be at PAX South a lot, that if I'm already in Texas and San Antonio is only an hour and a half from Austin, it would make sense if we did a live night attack show on Thursday, so the night that everybody's getting in before the con begins the next morning. Things are in the works. Hopefully within the next 24 hours we'll have a location, but it looks likely that on Thursday night we will do a live show. And let me tell you, I'm speculating wildly. None of this have been con uh, confirmed, but we certainly haven't even asked anyone, but imagine if you would what a live night attack show in San Antonio would look like if it featured me, Justin Robert Young, OMG Chad, I don't know, Mikey Newman, maybe Jeff the Dad Canada, maybe mm -hmm. Anthony ooh, Carboni. Oh, mm -hmm. I, that just seems like that would be a hell of a show if that were to happen. Well, it turns out all of our friends go to PAX, <laughs> and we don't. You know, like, so this so is going to be your first PAX? 
This would be an interesting uh, Spoiler thing. alert, we probably won't even go to PAX. <laughs> we'll just you show up go to PAX. and do the show. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, In fact, we will not be a, a part of anything. We will literally just be at a bar across the street. Uh, uh, that would be more likely what is... In fact, by more likely, I mean... <laughs> If it happens at all, that's what's going to happen. Bonnie, uh, uh, Bonnie <laughs> said, wait, you didn't name me. And I said, did you want to go? And she gave me a slow motion version of, of, of the jerk fist <laughs> <laughs> turning into telling me I'm number one. <laughs> it was well, I mean, amazing. Worst case scenario, we just do a meetup somewhere. Yeah. And we'll, we'll do something. If you're coming out to pack, yeah. something then, will yeah. happen that Thursday night. Uh, that is, without a doubt, in fact, hopefully we want to do a live show. Because we're gonna have so many of our friends there, that it would be it would be great if we could do a live Mikey Newman quiz. Uh, that would be absolutely. Cur- Curly would be there too, right? Uh, I think. Or is so. DKG the DKG crew is ro- rolling through? Yeah, so. right he's on. he's been to past Pack Souths, but he's also I've been to a few where he wasn't there, so I don't know. Yeah, he he's coming. He was there last time, so right. But we didn't go oh, to any uh, of the Demon Five says Curly's coming out. Demon Five yeah. will probably be there. Yeah. Oh yeah, I will definitely be there. Yeah, I know JVC is going to be there. There's a lot of a lot of our our, our Diamond Club, yeah. DKG family is going to be there. So hey, man. put that one on your calendars. End of this month, I believe it's the 26th. Is is that that Thursday before PAX in San Antonio? This would be uh, as close to the convention center slash Riverwalk as possible keep so, an eye uh, on any periscopes that involve the live ripping out of stitches and you'll get the hint in the meantime diamond time is the portion of the show where we are able to shout out your projects if you head on over to diamondclub.reddit.com you'll see a sticky post right up there at the top support your project get it up voted and we will talk out about the top three for example big jim one says hi diamond club big jim here and i need some help I'm working on this project that many of you would be interested in. I can't say much, but I think this link will describe it in great detail. If you could please check it out and then follow the instructions to get us to a place where we could possibly start a Kickstarter. God damn it. I would really, really appreciate it. <laughs> It'll take no time at all, and the feedback by our community would be priceless. The link is http colon slash slash yolo420.com slash top secret project. We cannot encourage you audio listeners. It must be seen to be believed. That's yolo420.com slash top secret project. Thank you to Big Jim. Oh, that man. That is an abuse of power. No, African it's not. African American. No, it's not. Wait, who says that? African American says, hey there, Diamond the Invisible Fam. I have a friend who fell into a pile of hard times. Then another pile of hard times fell on her. Her fiance stole a bunch of stuff and disappeared. She's been dealing with court cases against her childhood abuser, and she recently had a winter weather accident wrecking her truck. Not a Jeep. 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 Which she just took out a loan to purchase. She set up a GoFundMe to help put a dent in the debt. It is bit.ly slash YOLO420 friendly swag. You can help check out her story of the last year, the ridiculous amount of poop that hit the fan. She is optimistic and probably the most resilient person I know. She helped me out of some psychologically iffy places in the past, and I'd really like to help out an old friend. TLDR, could you help my friend? I uh, thank you for your time and consideration. Uh, again, YOLO 420 friendly swag. Uh, yeah, lowercase also works. Bit.ly slash YOLO 420 friendly swag. And finally, uh, Jaharui. Uh, hello, Diamond Club. So there's a fun cause I want to promote, something I do biannually. Yes, it's speedrunner time. Awesome games done quick. AGDQ starts on January 8th. For a week, we'll be raising some dough for the Prevent Cancer Foundation, hoping to kick cancer in its ass once and for all. This is the premier event for the speedrunning community. You'll see games of all sorts being destroyed in an effort to get the best time. This is something you cannot miss. All of the details are at gamesdonequick.com and including a schedule on the games being played, prizes being raffled away, and information about our great cause, the Prevent Cancer Foundation. Our donation is, record is $1.57 million. Let's help crush that record this year. Uh, man, I'm all for that. Let's, uh, and speaking of which, as long as we're talking about good causes, we uh, uh, all participated in a good cause, uh, the 24-hour epic new year's eve live stream at diamondclub.tv yeah. right 
Yeah, big yeah. shout out to Ritual Misery, uh, of course, Sergeant Muffin, who created the amazing, illustrious Muffin CDN that powers DiamondClub.tv, where you can watch this show at all times. Uh, uh, thank you guys to everybody who did it. I know that uh, uh, Brian, you you showed up. I showed up uh, highly inebriated, uh, which uh, I don't know how much that really helped the kids, but uh, well, we, we we did our best. Many did more of their best as they carried the entire program, including an hour of exercise, I hear. That's from right. From one Bonnie Brushwood. Yeah, it was a, like, good morning workout. And then I realized that's a really hard job. Like, the people that do this and get paid by Patreon to work out. <laughs> to work out every day? Yeah. It's not as easy as you the, thought, huh? Yeah, yeah. No. You're able to get that blood pumping, though. Uh, well. <laughs> Wait, whoa, what? <laughs> It was just so funny. But anyways, I just would like to highly endorse exercise. So there you go. Wait, Do that's it. your plug? Your plug exercise. Yeah, exercise. Yes, exactly. I feel like such a dork. Thank God Jackie Hearn. Uh, like, one, I couldn't get in. I couldn't log in or whatever. And then Jackie Hearn saved me. And then uh, and then we chatted while I worked out. It was awesome. Uh, what, what, what kind of workouts did you do? You do some lunges? Lunges and God, they're always on the lunges. On That's the... all they ever want. Is it, oh. is it squats? We did some squats. Where you pray and and take pretend poops. I hate it. Yeah, yes, that's the worst gig. That's what you, you gotta want to do. You want, you want to do a like, real oh, quick exercise thing? Squats, you want to show up your wife and do a real quick oh. exercise thing? Well, I mean, if only we had some music to go with it. I mean, I would. I'd be happy to. <laughs> Is this what we're going to have for the right. bidet thing? Yeah. Later okay. Now, 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 now do the quiet inbox. The quiet inbox. <laughs> There's the All right. Now, now, uh, oh. oh, man. I wanted to keep going. Oh. <laughs> I, bet you, I bet you would. <laughs> but, uh, 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 well, good job. Oh, I'll tell you what, Brian. That only leaves the movie draft. What's up? Presented by CosmicRadio.tv for the week of January 2nd, 2017. I'm your host, Roberto Viegas. It's a brand new year and we got some fresh movies coming out pretty soon, but until that time, let's go check the scoreboard and see if anything's changed for everybody in 2017. Mikey Newman's in sixth place with $97.2 million. Brian Brusher's in fifth place with $275.2 million. Chris Gates is in fourth place with $284 million. Malongo AE is in third place with $331.4 million. Josh Romero Young's in second place with $341 million. And in first place, the whopping $590.2 million. It's Team DTNS. And that is your Movie Drive Minute for the week of January 2nd, 2017. Dude, did you see there is a special edition of uh, Movie League Mike's uh, Crumdom this week? He he, he doesn't he believes, officially... He believes that I am going to be buying you a steak. Well, I mean, first of all, uh, let's just read his story. Can, can you give me some adorable music? Something Are we going to read the whole thing? All right. Well, here I, we go. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm just it's saying it very might, long. It's, it's, it's not long. very long. It's only it's it's less than 300 pages. It's, it's pages. only a three hour read. So here we go. Just audible. Audible presents. Here we movie go. Movie League Mics. <laughs> Are you, you playing <laughs> Beastie Boys story. underneath this? Is that what's happening? I, no, I'm, I'm doing very, the intro. I lost my head. As narrated by Brian Brushwood. Showing us what the holidays are truly all about, Justin Robert Young took the occasion of the most recent night attack to perform an act of selflessness and goodwill rarely seen this side of Gandhi or Mother Teresa when he donated a steak dinner to rival league member Brian Brushwood. Knowing Brian would be too proud to accept the outright charity, Justin did not present the extravagant gift as a donation, but cleverly designed it as a wager, betting that Brian's nine-film slate would not win in the winter movie draft. This was quite simply a masterstroke. Brian may have thought he was about to be the beneficiary of a sacrament, but certainly not a handout. Then Justin took it a step too far. Not only won't you win, you won't come within 24 and a half million dollars. This, of course, was just a half step from physically prying open Brian's mouth and force feeding him a 12 ounce New York strip. It was like giving the Steelers 24.5 points against the Browns, a good hearted but ludicrously transparent gesture. 
Still, Brian graciously accepted the terms, recalling his lifelong motto, the only thing better than giving a $2 tip is getting a free steak. Uh, uh, goes on and he uh, basically says that he projects I will make 800 and something million. Um, Brian's movies are expected to bring in 825 million. Those paying a close attention will notice that is more than 750 million. When is when's the final day? Uh, 30 days after the last movie comes out, which by the way, the last movie is Logan. It's in like May, right? Mm. What's that? It's in like May. Like I, th- I think we're going to do the summer draft before the winter draft is over Whoa. this year, because because our our movies stretch so far into, uh, uh, uh yeah. in, into spring. I agree. I agree. I think it's fine. I'm I'm okay with all of this. I think I think we're gonna win, and by we I mean me, but that's great because I'll be on your team <laughs> in the summer. <laughs> So and we'll have a steak together. Oh, it'll be a great time, won't it? Uh, all right, one more time. Uh, Chad, thank you so much for hanging out with us tonight. Anytime. Then I get $12. Uh, Brian, <laughs> Brian, you got anything you want to you wanna get out there? Uh, no, man. Just outside of to say thanks so much for everybody who was chiming in and uh, watching us play Frog Fractions 2. Thank you to Justin at Frog Fractions 2 for calling in on the live stream. We're doing our best to uh, make it a lot of fun. We're figuring out ways that Justin and I, despite being on opposite coasts, can play video games together at the same time. And it's, it seems to be going pretty well. Have you tried like a or- multiplayer game? Mm, we will. Yeah. Once we finish this one. <laughs> we will. <laughs> one day. Uh. Yeah, so no, everybody, twitch.tv slash uh, night attack. And, uh, and yeah, man, uh, uh, I'm, I'm now streaming also five days a week on my channel, uh, twitch.tv slash Justin R. Young, uh, either podcast or IRL streams uh, every single day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And by every single day, I mean not Saturday or Sunday. Uh, but uh, go ahead and check it out, twitch.tv slash Justin R. Young. Hey, man, we love you guys. We learned a lot today. We learned that uh, despite it all, OMG Chad still one of our BFFs of all time. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you at PAX, OMG. What say you, JRY? Uh, see you next Tuesday. Is there something I can Bonnie? Thank you for giving me permission to tear apart my flesh live on a stream on the internet. That's apparently my job now. Bryce, it's good to have you back. Thanks for having me. I'm glad to be back. Glad to be back in the controls at the starship. Uh, We love you guys, man. See you next Tuesday. Dills is a fraud. Do it at front. Drill oh, into a, 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 a forest. I get forest. So sad Drill into a forest. And <laughs> I wanna drink a warm glass of Drano. Dent internal ask parts. Not Discover, attack. investigate, Not associate, attack. forgive. <laughs> We're done. Night attack, night attack, night attack, night attack, I love you. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>